I'm very upbeat about the future for Tunisia, and let me tell you why. First of all, it's very clear to me, and I think it's very clear to everybody, that the Tunisian people have spoken. They've spoken about a different future from the one that they've had in the past. They've talked about a democratic and a pluralistic future. So you welcome the return of democracy, yet President Bin Ali was here for 23 years. Why was America not speaking out about the repression and oh, the corruption over those 23 years? Why did you not have a louder voice? America was speaking out. As, uh, as recently as nine days ago, I was convoked by the government of Tunisia because of the statement that the, state, the U.S. State Department released on the need for restraint in the demonstrations and the need to, uh, for the Tunisians to have unfettered access to, to the internet and to, um, uh, to other social media. But that's once, the, that's once the demonstration started. There were, there were 23 years before that no, in I, which you put the interests I, of stability and the so-called war on terror ahead of the Tunisian people. That's what Tunisians are telling me. I disagree with that and I think our record is clear on that. I think it's clear in, uh, our record is clear as far as what our public statements are and I would uh, invite you and, uh, and your audience to look at statements by President Obama and by his predecessors on these issues. And I, th uh, I think our record is clear as far as our, our private, uh, private, cons uh, private conversations as yeah, well. Yeah, we've seen your private conversations I'm in not, the WikiLeaks. I'm not going I to mean, go down that road. No, but you knew about the widespread corruption that was going on. We've seen those WikiLeaks cables. I know you don't want to talk about them specifically, but why weren't you speaking out more about this corruption, this quasi-mafia state, as is quoted in the WikiLeaks? When we uh, issue public statements, we always, uh, our first goal is to be effective and we always try and calibrate them. But I th I, again, I would refer to our record as statements about the state of affairs in, in Tunisia. I think our record speaks for itself. I am happy to defend that record, uh, not because I'm an American, but because I think that uh, the record's very clear.